the nation's trusted partner across the space enterprise. The company behind Pokemon Go wants to build a richer 3D map of the world. This week, Niantic released a new version of its Scaniverse app called Scaniverse 4, which allows users to help the company do just that. Niantic has long been on a mission to build what it calls the real world metaverse, but it's not as dystopian as it sounds. This refers more to the experience of playing Pokemon Go, where Maybe if you're on the beach, you'll be more likely to encounter water type Pokemon. Or how if you see a mural in your neighborhood, that mural might be a Pokestop, and the description of that Pokestop could tell you the history of the mural. The company's goal is to build an augmented reality experience that would hopefully bring us closer to the world around us, rather than sucking us further into our phones. While Niantic is off to a good start with its pretty comprehensive world maps, the company needs a little help from its friends. And by friends, I mean us, the users. Already on its apps like Ingress, Pokemon Go, and Wayfarer, players are incentivized to scan specific locations to earn in-game rewards. This is spun out from its acquisition of Scaniverse, an app that scans objects or environments in high resolution 3D. What makes this new app unique is that it's applying a new approach called Gaussian splatting to more accurately model 3D scans. Brian McClendon, Niantic's VP of Engineering and co-inventor of Google Earth, explained to TechCrunch how this works. He said, Gaussian splats have two major advantages over triangle meshes. They process faster and dramatically more realistic, including capturing details like window transparency, water reflections, and tree leaves. It's like comparing a Lego model to a clay sculpture. Legos can be blocky and rigid, whereas clay allows for smooth curves and finer details. The scanning process, only available on iOS so far, is pretty straightforward. On the app, you initiate a capture, and then for about one to three minutes, you have to rotate around the object to capture it from every angle. Niantic said it will automatically blur faces and license plates for privacy reasons, and if there's a moving object in the scan, it won't really matter because it'll get averaged out of the final render. Niantic already has hundreds of thousands of these scans, which it will use to augment gameplay and maybe even create virtual reality experiences down the road. I'm not normally a VR head, but if Pokemon's involved, I might need to get back on board.